let us try to go for the next one beta newton's second law newton's second law newton second सी आर बेटा न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ गिव्स रिलेशन बिटवीन गिव्स रिलेशन बिटवीन फोर्स एंड चेंज इन मोशन फोर्स एंड चेंज इन मोशन okay so i can say here newton uh reasoned that the product of the product of mass and velocity the product of mass and velocity was the best measure was the best measure of an object's motion of an object's motion or i can say quantity of motion quantity of motion like say if i talk about the quantity of motion of human being and horse we say that horse motion is more better than the motion of your man because my mass into my velocity will give me certain motion but velocity of ma horse and velocity of the ma mass of the horse will give you something different so that is the reason he told that newton has been reasoned that the product of the mass and the velocity of that object is the best way to measure the object's motion or we can say it is also the best way to give the quantity of a motion what type of a quantity of a motion we are been defined and here we are defining a new term right now the modern term what we call for this one is the modern term is momentum the modern term for this one is what momentum represented by your p bar so p bar is nothing but what beta p bar is nothing but the product of mass into your velocity the product of your mass into your velocity part of relation clear for everyone Yes, isn't it that means newton second law is defining me what momentum and what is the momentum momentum is defined as what the product of mass into velocity of an object is called as linear momentum p is nothing but what linear momentum p is nothing but what linear momentum linear momentum linear momentum is defined linear momentum is defined as the product of is defined as the product of mass of the body mass of the body mass of the body and its velocity and its velocity okay it is a vector quantity beta it is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity can anyone give me the si unit of this one beta si unit of the momentum is mass is measured in kg velocity is measured in meter per second can anyone give me the cgs unit of this one beta cgs unit of this one is nothing but gram centimeter per second is it clear for everyone yes sir clear okay so what is the newton second law of motion says that mean newton second law of motion gives the relation between an external force acting on the body and it relates the net external force with the acceleration of the body isn't it so we'll try to do the derivation in detail for this one so as per the newton part of relation newton's experimental show that acceleration of any object is directly proportional to the force applied acceleration of any object is directly proportional to what force applied right now like say for example this is your almara and there are the wheels for this one when you are standing here and applying the force 
the acceleration of this one will depend upon your force applied here isn't it so i can say that acceleration applied is directly proportional to external force acting on that body and also acceleration applied is inversely proportional to the mass lesser the mass lesser will be the acceler more will be the acceleration so it is inversely proportional to the mass so he ultimately we got a relation that acceleration is directly proportional to your net external force acting on the system divided by mass removing this proportionality constant we got some k so it is k f net divided by your m is it clear for everyone so what i am telling you right now yes, see sir. for example if you if you need to move a almara in your home you will apply the force so whatever force you are applying that force is directly proportional to the acceleration of this almara isn't it like say you are moving your dad is moving along with you your mom is also applying force your brother is applying the force then it can very easily move because force applied is more so force is directly proportional to right now whatever acceleration is been developed in this one this acceleration is directly applied to the force applied that means if the force is increasing acceleration is also increasing then mass then he also concluded that that acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass that means lesser the mass more will be the acceleration lesser the mass more will be the acceleration part of relation so we are getting acceleration a is equals to some k into f net divided by m experimental value of the k is taken as of 1 so that is the reason we are calling acceleration a is equals to a is equals to your f net divided by your mass m that means net force acting on any system will be equal to mass into acceleration this is your newton's second law is it clear for everyone this was the only uh, theoretical knowledge which newton has been given from theoretical understanding we got this one as equation number 1 this as equation number 2 from that both of them we got some constant that constant we are taking one and saying that f net is equals to mass into acceleration is it clear for everyone is it clear for everyone am i audible yes sir clear sir yes sir yes sir clear now let us try to go for the derivation of this one beta in detail derivation of derivation of force derivation of force what is that force f bar is equals to mass into acceleration okay so the definition right now what it says the rate the rate at which the rate at which a body's momentum a body's momentum changes body's momentum changes is equal to the is equal to the net force net force acting on the body so this is the definition of force now so rate at which the body's momentum changes is equal to the net force acting on the body that means mathematically i can write f net force f net force is equals to rate of momentum that is nothing but dp bar divided by your dt so that is equals to d momentum is nothing but what beta m into v bar divided by your dt You use the product rule of the differentiation so if i'm using the product rule of a differentiation f net is equals to u into v form so we'll keep the first one as it is then differentiate the second one that is dv by over dt plus keep the second one as it is then differentiate the first one that is nothing but dm by over dt so this is the actual f not which is been acting on the body f net is equals to m into dv by dt plus v into dm by your dt part of relation now see here when when a body's mass when a body's mass remains constant remains constant then dm by dt because dm is nothing but what a constant differentiation of any constant will be equal to how much beta Zero will be equal to zero. That is the reason we are getting here right now. F net is equals to F net is equals to m into dv bar divided by your dt. This is your Newton's second. F net is equals to m into dv by dt. Now dv by dt is what? Better can anyone tell me? What 
What is dv by dt? What is dv by dt? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Then what is velocity by time, beta? dv by dt. Velocity by time is what? Acceleration. अरे बाप रे आप लोग इतना टाइम लगाते हो बोलने के लिए छोटे छोटे चीज है कैनमेटिक्स में क्या पढ़े वेलोसिटी पे टाइम एक्सेलरेशन ही तो पढ़े थे ना यस yes, सर चेंज इन वेलोसिटी बोलने के लिए इतना टाइम क्यों लगा रहे हो ये है अपना न्यूटन से सेकंड लॉ दिस वन इज योर न्यूटन से सेकंड लॉ एफ इज नथिंग बट व्हाट रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऐसा भी लिख सकते हो डायरेक्टली एफ इज इक्वल टू डीपी बाय डीटी इज आल्सो सेकंड लॉ और एफ इज इक्वल टू एम इनटू और ये इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑफ योर सेकंड लॉ सेकंड न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ इंक्लूड्स द फर्स्ट लॉ एज अ स्पेशल केस अगर नेट फोर्स जीरो हो गया देन एक्सेलरेशन कितना हो जाएगा जीरो दैट मींस ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेलोसिटी डज नॉट चेंज सो आई कैन राइट वन पॉइंट हियर कीप अ नोट न्यूटन्स second law includes includes the first law first law first law as the special case as the special case kaisa agar f net zero ho gaya net force agar zero so in this case in this case acceleration of the body is zero so and objects velocity acceleration zero there objects velocity does not change if the body is not changing its position and external force is acting that is newton's first law only na clear as a big go yes sir so next one is component form component form jaise vectors pe likhte ho force i can write in terms of all the components f bar is equals to this will be fx into i cap plus this one will be fy into j cap plus this one will be fz into your k cap clear for everyone the same way acceleration of the body can also be written as a bar is equals to x into i cap plus ay into j cap plus a z into your cap deflection so i can write now for the relation force along your x axis if i am writing fx will be equal to your momentum that is dpx by your dt that will be equal to mass into acceleration along your x axis force along y axis dfy bar is equals to momentum along y axis dv by dt is equals to m into acceleration along your y axis in the same way z axis z is equals to dp momentum z axis by your dt is equals to m into your az into your i cap j cap remaining part i can write this relation that means that if a force is not parallel to the velocity of the body it should be at certain angle with it that means it will be always be making certain angle for the given condition is it clear for everyone so momentum we got the relation right now we got the units of the momentum we got everything in the given conditions part so these are the basic knowledge which you should have about your newton's second law still we have lot related in newton's second law in the next session we will try to do about the remaining part is it clear for everyone so i'm sending the notes for you ठीक है यस चलो आज जरा न्यूटन्स लॉस पढ़ लो एंड आई विल आल्सो ट्राई टू सेंड यू द एनसीईआरटी एनसीईआरटी से भी इंट्रोडक्शन पढ़ो अगर कुछ बेसिक बेसिक क्वेश्चंस है तो वो कंप्लीट करने की कोशिश करो एंड इनर्शिया ऑफ डायरेक्शन इनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट के एग्जांपल्स आप लोग जरा एनसीईआरटी से डिटेल में पढ़ लेना ठीक है चलो बेटा ओके ठीक है बेटा देन शो टेक केयर बाय